so this is what it looks like the next morning i definitely made them too big what i do after they're frozen is i put them in a ziploc bag and then i bake them as i want today i'm just going to make two and i'm going to use this tray So I have all of them here. Pro tip, learn from me. Um, so these are not coming out right now because I didn't put aluminum foil. I'm gonna let them defrost outside and hopefully I can get them out easier. 350 in the oven for like 18 minutes. Oh yeah. Today is going to be another cleaning day and organizing because there's a lot to get done in the apartment i also need to paint a couple more races make some reels um like edit the ones that i already have to upload because that's like one of my biggest issues that i make the videos but i never edit them to upload them i first want to start off by mapping out these frames and see if i'm going to like them or not there because i don't know exactly how i feel about it just yet I'm going to start painting this wall finally to a more white so basically leaning towards this color this is a paint that I'm going to be using I'll list it and link it down below for you guys and then I got this entire painting set from Home Depot as well to paint I made sure to put painters tape all around like the borders so I don't mess up um, around here around the cabinets and then in the floor I made, you know, a little protection paper. Listen, shout out to all the painters out there. That's all I have to say. Also, if you hire a painter, please tip them well because this is not easy, okay? This this is like a struggle and a half. You know, I'm a little artsy sometimes, but this, this is a lot harder than I thought, especially because I'm such a perfectionist, but it's coming along. It's coming along. I also want to say, whenever you move to an apartment and you're like, oh, can I get white paint? And they're like, this is white, this is white. This is not white, okay? This is white, this is brown. Just kidding, it's like a cream color, but it's not white. It looks a lot better though. It looks a lot better so far. You know what, I probably have paint all over my hair because I sure have paint all over my hands. But um, what I am excited about this paint, to be honest with you, is the fact that it's a gloss, semi-gloss finish so things are not going to get stuck to the freaking paint another thing this is like a legit workout so you know if you haven't worked out in a bit just paint a wall all right you guys all done with the wall it probably looks like the same but i swear it's like such a difference but now i'm going to do another coat for this vase and paint these right here as well as this one Look what we're building. Third time's the charm, am I right? My bun is like so crooked. 
but I'm going to be making some pastelitos de pollo right now. I have shared before how I make them, so I'll link it down below for you guys. I'm not going to be making them in the air fryer today though because I don't know, I just want it to be extra, extra fried, extra oily, extra unhealthy. But yeah, chicken is cooking right now. Eric actually burnt my favorite pan. He decided to, you know, just casually put it in the oven and this is now burnt. So yeah, chicken is currently frying and then I'm going to put it in the magic bullet and make the empanadas slash patelitos. The apartment is a hot mess because we're building the bed, like I mentioned, and then I was painting these vases. Um, I also painted this for, to like hand plant. I don't know how I feel about it just yet, but I do feel that it's a lot better than the brown, so. Alexa, belte a la mierda. Sorry, I don't know that <laughs> I don't know that one she said. Hey! The last major update that I have to give you guys is the bedroom. We, by we I mean Eric, put up the bed. I'm obsessed with it, I just again need to situate the pillow situation. I still have not figured that out yet. And we also put the frame up right in the center. All right, so on today's agenda, this is one of the things that we need to get done, which are the frames. That's kind of the idea that I want. Uh, we are going to obviously make it a little bit more perfect because it's not measured correctly or the spaces aren't correctly, but that's the idea. The way that I decided to map out everything was to take painter's tape cut it the size of the frame and then just place it where I want it so I can get a vision before drilling onto the wall. Some of you guys are going to say that I don't have to necessarily drill and I, that I could put one of those 3M um, stickers. However, the way that this paint is set up, the fact that it has a matte finish or a flat finish, the 3M hooks don't stick to the wall. So we're going to nail some of these. <laughs> Yet another day of Vlogmas. I have officially lost track of the days. I think it's day 18 of Vlogmas. I didn't vlog yesterday, so that's where there's going to be two vlogs in one, but I didn't do much. We just went last minute to Home Goods and then had dinner. And throughout the day, I was just like editing and stuff. But I do have some amazing things to show you guys because I found some new nightstands that I am obsessed with. I also found a mirror. The lamp that I ordered got here. So I'm excited to show you guys that. And Eric is currently building the shelves. All right, so these are the new nightstands. I'm obsessed with it. I don't know. I feel like I like it way better. It looks darker in the video than it does in person. Like it's like it, this is the real color right here. And then it looks darker from afar. Um, I have to fold some laundry, but this is what it looks like. I love it so much. It's way better. It's higher and slimmer, which is good. What else? Eric is currently putting up these frames. I have to print them. These look really good, Eric. I'm excited to put pictures in them. Yeah. Five and six, be like. What are you doing? Making a little shake. Wanna give the recipe? Spinach, almond, butter, protein powder, 
on MCT oil and almond milk. Like I mentioned, we got our lamp. I literally ordered this like a couple days ago and it got here and Eric's like, it better get here fast since it was so much money. It was almost for $400. I know, you know, I got some PR packages. This room is just always a hot mess, so. I've come to terms. Like I mentioned, I got a new mirror for like the vanity part. I'm planning on putting it here. I don't know what I'm going to do with this now, but I'm excited for it because it's like an oval. I'm gonna put it like this, like that, like a rectangular angle right here. I totally forgot that we went to Home Depot yesterday and we got these shelves for the kitchen because I'm thinking of putting some shelves right there maybe don't know yet um, this color though it's a little off than what I wanted and then these are the previous nightstands which we're going to return back to TJ Maxx and Eric also got the shelf for the laundry room at Home Depot very excited to put that bad boy up lots and lots of things to do Next task of the day, putting up the frames. More frames. All right, so what time is it? It is 4.02. We are going for a quick winter walk. I'm not too happy about it, but you know, sometimes in our relationship, you have to compromise. She wanted to go to Target. To, exactly. So tomorrow I can beg to go to Target. No complaints will be allowed. Like I know we really do need to clean that. You take that off. What's tomorrow? The 19th? 20th? 19th. Today's the 18th. No, today's the 19th. Oh, yeah. 20, 20. Damn. Okay. Anyways, this is our to-do list. <laughs> if you guys are wondering, we have to write things down because if not, Eric would not get anything Yeah, done. I would... Have some vino. Oh, and Eric has his cigar. So we just got back from a little walk and got some food from Dog Den, which is a nearby little corner food place. They have hot dogs. And this is what we got. Oh, they sent us. So happy about the frames. I feel like they look so good. We just need to get something that would hold them in place and not move them all the time because I don't know, like they easily get crooked. You know what I mean? I'm sure they have to sell some like sticky thing on Amazon. So I'm going to be on the hunt for that. But now I'm going to build the new lamp. This is some laundry I'm just drying off right now, but I'm going to build the lamp now. And Eric is currently putting up the shelf. These are the shelves that we got from Home Depot. I kind of like them now because it matches somewhat. I just got out the shower. I was 
cleaning my bathroom and then cleaning inside of the shower so i decided to take a shower as i was cleaning it i think i already showed you guys but the shelf in the kitchen is up and also in the laundry room this is what the shelf in the kitchen looks like i really like it we're going to decorate it differently i don't think that's gonna go there but for now i wanted to put something there eric is currently mopping the floor because we're putting the rug everyone's gonna think that you're the only one that cleans in this house Whoa. the west elm lamp is bomb.com that thing is so like luxurious and great great quality like you could definitely feel 90 pounds yeah it's like gonna last a long time i love the fact that it brought light bulbs however the light bulbs are my favorite it doesn't look yellow here on camera but it's it's like orange in person um and you guys already know how annoying i am about that but yeah, lamp is up, we're waiting for the shade, that's coming on Monday, and we're now going to be putting the rug. Now for the laundry, this is what it looks like. Eric ended up putting the two shelves that we got from Home Depot. So I'm now going to organize all of the detergents and stuff, um, and hopefully fit some other stuff in the back. All right, so to organize the laundry room, I'm going to be using these containers that I got from Ikea, basically to put all of our pods and detergents and stuff in all of these. So let's get to it. You guys remember my village house box that i was contemplating on keeping or like throwing it away and organizing the houses separately well i ended up deciding to keep the box and some may call it crazy but i call it genius i decided to wrap the front of the box so i can put it in the laundry room and then it doesn't like distract with the print that it had. So now it's just a plain old box and no one's gonna know. No one's gonna know. And that ladies and gentlemen, I call genius. And here is the final product. Obviously I'm still going to add a couple more things here and there and probably organize a few more stuff in the back. But as of right now, these are the sprays that I have, Tide Pods, Downy Boosters, and our like iron and steamer and rolling things. Still trying to figure out where to put these. I might just put it in the back for now, but I have seen some organizers on Amazon that you can stick next to the machine. So I might try that, but for now, we're just going to put it all the way on the top. All right, so I'm going to end today's vlog here. I feel like we got so much done today, which makes me so happy. The frames are up, the laundry shelf is up, the kitchen shelf is up. Eric also put up my new mirror in the um, office. You, you won't be able to see it because there's no light here. Oh, actually, it's not that bad. That's what that looks like as of right now. I think it's going to look better in the morning the only thing that didn't work out was the rug we measured it but we couldn't put it because it is way too big like it's literally from wall to wall and it's just going to overpower the room since the couch is already big enough so we're going to return it and buy another one what's new honestly this entire process for this apartment has been trial and error but we're learning and we're getting there. Right, Eric? We are. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and until next time. Peace.